Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is all of my empties from the month of December 2022. So let's get started. Um, I do have some wallflowers in here that I wanted to talk about in my fall video, my fall empties video, but it was just, it, the video was too long. So I decided to put the um, wallflowers into this one. So this basket here is all of my empties from December and it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot in here. So I'm gonna just dump and go. So, okay. I got through a good bit of empties in December and I told myself if I let an empties video go for a month, it's just, it's just too long and I have to review my notes too, uh, too much because I, you know, I, I try to remember a lot of things, but sometimes it doesn't work in my favor. But um, I got through a lot of stuff for December and then I have my stuff from the last couple of weeks in January that I'm going to be doing in a separate video. So let's go ahead and talk, talk about wax. There are a handful of fall scents in here just because I wanted to um, finish them up versus putting them back into my into my collection for this coming fall. Um, and I have a couple in here that aren't winter or fall or anything. They're just scents that I either got a sample of or I needed to have a little bit of something different because after a few months of melting pumpkins and peppermints and pines and all of that stuff, it kind of gets a little monotonous in my opinion. So I have some in here and especially in, in January's that are not winter or holiday. So, okay. First one, Yoshi the Red Nose Dino from Rose Girls. This one is raspberry sauce, pistachio, and marshmallow fluff. This one is part of her Mario Melter line, um, Jenny Oaks Rose Girls. I will say the only note I smelled in this is the raspberry sauce because it is so strong. It And, I, you know, raspberry is so weird for a lot of us out there. Um, it has a floral quality to it. This, her raspberry sauce, it kind of reminds me of Dessa's raspberry sauce. It's rich. It's fruity. It's borderline floral to me, though. There are some other vendors out there that have outright floral raspberry. This is... I like that pistachio was added in here, but I didn't get any of it. And I melted this whole entire bag. I love pistachio. And I was hoping a little bit of that would come out to play because I haven't had pistachio and raspberry really in a long time. And this one, would I buy this again? Probably not, just because I could buy a bag of her raspberry sauce when she pours it, and it could be basically the same thing to me. So that's a one and done. Christmas at the Cabin, L3. I've had this one several times. This was a bunt from her Christmas sampler that was offered. When I say last year in this video, I'm meaning 2021, not this past Christmas season. Uh, this was offered in the Christmas sampler from 2021. And I've also had this in samples. I've had it in puppy packs. I've had it in um, a bunt even, I think. This is a good scent. This is wood smoke, freshly cut Christmas trees, and sweet cinnamon sticks. And this just, this is a nice winter, homey, yummy comforting scent to me. You get a little bit of the wood smoke and it's not overpowering. It's not super duper smoky. Uh, wood smoke is strong and it can overpower a blend in my opinion. The A little bit of the cinnamon stick is in there. It's slightly, it's not spicy cinnamon, but it's not sweet sugar cinnamon either. It's kind of right there in the middle of the two. It gives that little bit of homey potpourri quality to it. And then you have the pine that is in there just making you think like you're out in the woods walking around. And ah, there's the log cabin, uh, you know, that you're off the grid uh, visiting for a little while. There, that one. I like that. I will continue to buy that one. Hot cocoa, buttermint, and lavender. This was a different one for me because, first of all, this was a sample. And second of all, I don't like chocolate and wax. I've said that many times on this channel. I try. Um, I have a couple chocolate waxes that actually are from Walmart that are my absolute favorite. And there's a couple, there's a couple blends I found here and there, but I typically don't dip my toe into the chocolate wax pond very often just because I'm let down by the artificial quality that I smell in a lot of chocolate wax. But that being said, this was different. I, 
I like the chocolate and lavender is mixed together and I think there's another blend out there um, maybe maybe it's not chocolate maybe it's coffee and lavender that I have from another vendor um, it works it really does I can't put this one into words the butter mint is there it's if you if you've smelled butter mint it's creamy it's buttery for lack of a different of another word it actually they play together very well I melted this in my master bathroom which most of the, my L3 samples that I have I typically try to melt in there because I do have a 20 watt element warmer in my in the master bath and it's a small space so I can really gauge how is the throw do I like the scent it's pretty concentrated so I have in my guest bathroom, I have a tea light warmer going. So I put ones that I haven't melted for the first time in that one. And I save samples and newer to me, small quantities blends that I have that I don't have a two pack of buns or a whole mini melter bag of to put throughout my home. I try to reserve these for a smaller space so I can see, hey, do I want to request this? Do I want to buy more in the future? This one. I would probably buy a puppy pack in this just because I like having it on hand for those moments where I want something that's different. But if you like chocolate and you like butter mint, give this a try. You would probably like it because it really, it's, it's a, it's a pretty scent. It's not, it's not something I think, Ooh, I want more, but that's me and chocolate wax. Next sleigh bells ring from Rose girls. Uh, some of these that don't have the notes on them. I did take notes. Aha, uh -huh. I took notes on the notes beforehand. Sleigh bells ring, eucalyptus, fir, balsam, and cedar. And I'm pretty sure I bought this, not this, not 2022, 2021. I'm pretty sure this was her fresh balsam. And I think these notes here, the eucalyptus, fir, balsam, cedar are fresh balsam, Bath and Body Works. So if you have smelled this, if you've smelled fresh balsam, you have smelled this. That's basically what it is. It's balsam and cedar. It's nice. Is there anything special to it? No, I'm not really a fan of fresh balsam anymore as I'm getting older. I loved the hell out of it in the past, but now I'm finding I like pine blended with different stuff, not just restricted to just pine. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, that's how, you know, our, our scent preferences change with time and, you know, I might wake up one day and hate zucchini bread. I hope it never happens because I love zucchini bread, but it might change and morph with different things. So I hope that um, I don't get to a point where I hate pine because I do like pine in my home. It's it's a nice it's a nice change from bakery. <laughs> so speaking of bakery, baker's gonna bake. Baker's gonna bake from L three. This is vanilla sugar shortbread and lemon raspberry glaze. I had this in my master bathroom and this is a nice lemon raspberry scent. It is just the perfect balance of lemon and raspberry. The vanilla sugar shortbread is just a bakery component to it. This is primarily lemon raspberry to me. So if you like this too, give this one a try. It's a nice one. It's a staple. Jen blends it a lot with bakery stuff. You know, it's just an extra bump of a little bit of fruity, a little bit of bakery. So that's that one. Next is Barrett's Wax Crafts Peppermint Vanilla Dream. This is just peppermint and vanilla fluff. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, I love this. I love peppermint, though. I could melt peppermint all year. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's sweetened up peppermint. So I melted that pretty much at the beginning of December because I got off to a peppermint kick, and then I toned it down a little bit, and I... Um, uh, went into different holiday and winter ones. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. This one, not a winter scent. This is hot girl summer, <laughs> different season. Um, I had this, this is from Teddy Bees. I, I just love this one. I had a couple pieces left of this and I thought, what are you doing, Ashley? Just use the damn thing up. So I did. This is crisp melon, island coconut, palm leaves, and a hint of beach treats. Here in Utah, we got a lot of snow in December in a short period of time. So it was probably one of those days when I was tired of snow and cold when I popped this baby in. Uh, this basically is her beach nights or her beach treats is what she calls beach nights, Tiffany 
Tiffany Smith from Texas um, with Teddy Bees. I love Teddy Bees. It's my number two, possibly number one tie vendor. I love Teddy Bees. Um, this is great. Um, if this comes back, I don't really necessarily, my nose doesn't pick up on the coconut and the melon and those other things together. Her beach nights, beach treats is so good and it's so strong. It kind of takes over the other notes in this to my nose, but this is a good one of her beach, of her beach treats, um, blends that she offers. Okay. Gingerbread house, Dessa's. I love, 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 love love this gingerbread gingerbread is molasses and the ginger spice of course and a little bit of a little bit of doughy bakery but it's spicy gingerbread is supposed to be spicy that's the point of it this dessa's concoction of her gingerbread house is fantastic she just had a pre-order yesterday which i participated in and i know a lot of you guys out there did uh, my husband loves gingerbread and i made my order and I thought, yes, great. Then I realized I told him I would get a little loaf of the gingerbread and I forgot to do that because I didn't write it down on my list. So I'm old now. I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost 40. I have to make lists for the most part, especially if it's something where, you know, time is working against me. Uh, she did close her pre-order at an hour. Um, really, I think at 40 minutes, she hit her, her capacity, which so congratulations, Dessa, and congratulations to everyone who grabbed some stuff. Her, her, her gingerbread is really good. So if you got that one, you're in for a treat if you haven't had it. Uh, this throws well. It lasts a long time. So it checks off all those boxes for me. Um, it, it smells like an authentic, good gingerbread, gingerbread smell. Um, if you watched my video in, I don't remember which one it is, but I talked about making Ina Garten's gingerbread cupcakes. <laughs> um, it smells like that dough, that heavy, dense, thick dough that gingerbread is. That is authentic as it gets. That's the best gingerbread I've smelled. L3 makes a good gingerbread too. Dess's has just a little bit extra to it. I love it. Another Teddy Bees. Okay. I need to move my foot. That's my surgery foot. And sometimes uh, I don't want to go into it. But after the type of surgery that I had, the outside of my foot is going to get a little painful for a period of time. And he was right. It's painful for a period of time. So I can't push down on it. I'm sitting cross-legged. I can't push down on it too long because it starts to tell me, hey, pay attention to me, Ashley. So back to the wax. This one, I know so many of you out there love this. This is Teddy Bees again. This is Christmas Trees and Cream and Crushed Candy Canes. This is fantastic. I know it has a following it's loaf worthy. It's, it's perfect. Um, this is fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar, waffle cone, and rich vanilla buttercream layered with peppermint, sweet sugar, and candy canes. I do have a souffle. I have two of these actually. Well, one now this one's good done. I bought in the pre-order a Christmas trees and cream plain just to see what it's like without the addition of the peppermint. And I have melted that a couple of times, the Christmas trees and cream. I actually prefer it mixed with that little bit of that little bit of peppermint. It really brightens it. It really brightens it up, guys. Peppermint is one of those versatile blends. It's not a blend, excuse me. It's a single oil, but it's one of those ones where you can just add it to anything and it brightens it up. It gives it a little bit of a different profile. So this one here is one I would definitely buy again. I have one more souffle, like I said. I'm going to save it for later on this year. I'm sure it will be offered again, um, Teddy Bees, at some point. I do want to get more of it. Um, this is, it's perfect. I mean, I if you've tried it, you know... You're part of the part of the club, I guess I should say, um, in the Teddy Bees Christmas Trees and Cream Crush Candy Cane Club. Um, tons of members. This throws well. It's creamy. It's comforting. It is just a perfect holiday scent to accent. You know, sitting around the tree and looking at the lights or opening gifts. This is a really nice, comforting memory. Next. We're going to change gears here and go to fall, fall fest. This is super tarts owned by Brandy and Brady Williams in Squam, Washington. 
This is iced pumpkin cupcakes, mac apple, and homemade biscuits. This I got, um, this was extras that were poured after her Fright Nights, which I didn't participate in the pre-order of Fright Nights. Um, I only buy super tarts here and there. Um, I have a lot of wax and I've, I've talked, some of her blends just don't work in my house. I have to be really selective with the ones that I do buy. And I'm finding that as I'm melting more of my, of my collection of super tarts. And I, I do, I did buy wax Wednesday, but I'm also, I'm just buying those scents that I have tried and have worked for me. I'm not really venturing into trying new blends. This um, this is a really good Mac Apple. I like that the Mac Apple balances well with the pumpkin cupcakes and what else is in here? The homemade biscuits. So you have that that bakery com that complex that bakery complex going on, and then you have the Mac Apple in there. And Mac Apple is a strong oil. It can overtake a blend, in my opinion. I've had ones where it's just straight Mac Apple, but everything else gets hidden in there because either the ratios are off or, you know, Mac Apple is just so strong. This is well balanced. It is a nice scent. It is Mac Apple with bakery. So this one is one I would buy again. This performed well for me. I melted this exclusively in my kitchen downstairs in my open concept. So I could really gauge how this puppy worked for me. And when I can smell it up my stairs in my house because of the way my draft goes, I can smell what I have up at the top of my of the landing at my stairs. I have a guest bathroom that you go right into. What I have in there in my tea light warmer goes down the stairs and what's downstairs goes up into that bathroom. So it's funny how drafts work, but I know when I can smell it on another, another level, it's good. So there's that one. Train's gonna go by guys. So I'll try to shut up when the, <laughs> when he, at the crossing down here, you know, they have to blow the whistle. So there we go. Was waiting for that. It's Sunday here. It's supposed to be snowing, but it's not. It's coming. It's trying to. It's doing some activity up in the mountains, but it's not down here in the valley. Um, lavender cream peppermint. This surprised me because, you know, if you if you watch my channel and, you know, you, you watch some of my older videos, in 2021 when I had COVID, lavender I could not smell. And I'm finding, you know, watching a lot of you and just reading comments in the tons of groups that I <laughs> I am in. Um, lavender is something that people struggle with. And um, I think in L3's live that was done on Friday, I think Jen or maybe Trish, I can't remember right now, was talking about lavender is is weird. I think I think that was something that was talked about. I don't quite remember the whole entire context of the conversation, but I think that lavender lavender is hard for people. There's herbal lavender and there's sweet lavender. Um, when my lavender, I, I mean, I'm normal now with lavender, but when it was struggling and when that part of my nose was trying to regenerate or whatever, whatever it did, lavender smelled like soap to me. Now it doesn't. I'm able to differentiate between sweet lavender and herbal lavender. This here is a sweet lavender to me. It has the peppermint and the cream in there. So whether this is lavender and cream or lavender cream, I'm not quite sure what oils are in here, but basically it's lavender, sweet lavender and peppermint. And it's a nice relaxing blend. I did have this in my master bathroom. So like I said, um, I would buy this again in a larger size, probably the two pack bunt because bunts are my favorite size. I, they're easy to cut, they're easy to melt, they're clean, you know, clean cut. You don't have to play around with, oh, this piece is bigger than this because you cut right on the right on the lines. I love the bunts. This I would buy again in that. It's a nice bedtime scent. I don't melt at night because Poppy, my cat, uh, probably would be interested in the light that's on the warmer by my bed. So I don't want her to get hurt. And frankly, I don't want to clean wax out of her fur. So that's why I don't melt at night. Sometimes I leave the bathroom warmer on. I shut the door because I want to really want to see how long that scent lasts. If it lasts overnight and it's still going the next morning, I'll probably buy it again because that's a good one. Um, I did buy an L3 advent calendar. I did not do a video for it this year just because, um, you know, it's hard enough for me to do my empties videos, let alone doing 
I got three advent calendars this year. I did a video for Dessa's and I have a Super Tarts calendar and an L3 calendar and I chose not to do a video for those blends there. Um, if you think about it, that's 75 different blends that I'd have to talk about in different videos. So it kind of gets taxing mentally. But I do have my standouts from the calendar for L3 in here. So a couple of these um, I might request again down the road because they were good. First one of that being banana nut, ba banana nut bread, bakery bomb, banana cream pie. I love banana nut bread. And I love Jen's from L3's Banana Nut Bread Oil. It's perfect. The Bakery Balm is her secret concoction of, I swear there's pretzel in it because I do get a pretzel quality uh, to the Bakery Balm. I've had other blends of hers that have that Bakery Balm in it. One I'm thinking of is Pink Mustache and Bluebeard has that secret Bakery Balm. And the banana cream pie just gives a little bit of extra dose of creaminess to it. This was fantastic. I love this. I know some of you don't like banana wax because it can kind of be artificial. It's kind of weird smelling, kind of like me and chocolate wax. This is not artificial. This was authentic banana and especially banana nut bread. This is a good one. Another standout from the calendar is Fraser Fir Toasted Marshmallow and Brown Sugar Fig. Why I like this one is the Brown Sugar Fig is a great oil. It's not used very much because I don't really know if people remember that this oil exists. I do not know how many oils L3 has, but I don't know how she keeps track of all of them. Uh, this, I really liked that addition of the Fraser Fir. It really played nicely. It's something different. You know, it's not something I've smelled before. You know, oh, it's strawberry cupcakes or, oh, it's just pine and orange. Like those are, those are ones most of us have smelled time and time again. I like the different scents that I haven't had mixed together before. This is one I would buy, a, buy again, probably in the fall or winter time. I'm kind of phasing out of my pine and my wintry scents. I'm moving on into just regular normal scents not quite summer and spring yet we still have january half of january and february to go in march it's still cold here so i'm going to segue into just regular scents but that one is one i wanted to talk about because that brown sugar and fig is savory it's warm it's it's a little it's a little sexy i should say Okay, next is, this is a great one. This is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Espresso, and Sugar Cookie Royale. This is one of the best Pumpkin Pecan blends that L3 offers, in my opinion. The balance is perfect. The Sugar Cookie Royale, there's a sampler for Sugar Cookie Royale right now offered in the L3 pre-order. Um, mixed with the espresso to really give that bakery coffee component. And then you put in that fantastic PPW and you have a little bit of the syrupy, a little bit of the pecan, that nut quality, and a little bit of the cream from the waffle. I'd love this. I have this in many forms and I have this in scoop and this is not going anywhere in my collection. I even like this blended, the blend they have with vanilla butter fudge, pumpkin pecan waffles, and espresso. It is so good. I love it. Okay, next is Sleepy Time Luna. These notes are soothing lavender, let them eat cake, and warm vanilla sugar. I like warm vanilla sugar instead of vanilla B. Noel. I'm not a vanilla B. Noel person. It's, it's just too, it's too su sweet and burnt smelling to me like it, it it's it smells a little the caramelization in that in the oils for vanilla b noel which has been around forever it's not it's not something that i i like i like warm vanilla sugar a little bit more because it's got enough warmth to it i mean i know that's it's warm vanilla sugar think of another word but warm ashley but it's if you smell it them side by side, I prefer the sweetness of the warm vanilla sugar because it's warmer than the vanilla bean Noel. But that, that aside, let them eat cake as a perfume and then the soothing lavender and the warm vanilla sugar together. This is a hard one to describe. I think it's just meant to be a relaxing bedtime scent that makes you just inhale and relax and go to sleep this one is kind of hard to describe so i won't try to butcher it anymore <laughs> okay thwomps rose girls this has a cult following too this is pine peppermint sugar cookie dough and campfire marshmallow 
telling you, pine and cookie is really good together. You wouldn't think, ew, pine and cookie, but it does work. If you haven't had Thwomps, this is another one of her Mario Melters. When this comes back later this year, if she offers the Mario Melters, which she probably will, um, try this. I have another backup bag of this. I might have a, I might have two. I'm not sure, but this is a nice scent. It's strong. It's very unique. It's not something you smelled before. Um, the creaminess of the peppermint goes in there and plays well with the cookie and the pine. And this is a fantastic blend. Next is Snooze Button. This was a puppy pack. This is one of my, it's getting old because this was her, um, she changed the um, turban on her, uh, her, her logo. I think this was summer of 21. I think this was the first year. I've been in Vendor Wax for two years now. Um, I'm in the terrible twos. So <laughs> I do remember this was a puppy pack I got in that in uh, that year. But Snooze Button, one of her most popular scents. This is Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Buttermint. What I like about this is that lavender and the buttermint. Buttermint is so good. It just, it's creamy. It's not like gum mint or mouthwash or toothpaste mint. It's a creamy mint and it's something, I don't know, I don't know what it is, how to describe what a butter mint smells like, but it's smooth, smooth, it's creamy, it's comforting. It's like the after dinner butter mints is exactly, it smells exactly like those tastes. And I loved those as a kid. I haven't really looked for them in the store. They might be hard to find anymore. I, I don't know. Um, but I love them. I might have to buy some. This, this is a bedtime scent. I've melted this during the day when I'm having stressful moments or I need to, you know, get into Zen, Zen time. Uh, I have this in a loaf and I have this mixed with, um, winter snooze, which is a, which is a peppermint blend. Also, I like, I like this. This is a good one. That's popular. It's not going anywhere. This is Destination Wax Marshmallow Fireside. This is Sweet Marshmallows and Smoldering Embers, not smoky, Bath and Body Works type. If you've smelled this, it's the sweet, smoky, beautiful Marshmallow Fireside. I have found, I have found and I have determined that Destination Wax has a one year, maybe a year and a couple of months shelf life for me. After that, the integrity of the scent just plummets for me. I do, I've melted some of my Destination Wax a while ago and then I've melted it now and it's definitely losing potency for me. It doesn't mean her wax is bad or I don't like her wax or her blends. She has some crazy great blends like Moon Spice Cookie and she has... Um, the, the one that's uh, fresh fresh grass and dirt or fresh mown lawn or something like that. She offers different unique oils. But I'm finding that if I really want to make an order with Destination Wax, I need to order very small because I want to be able to use them within that window and not have to waste the, the product that I paid for. You know, and that's not, that's not her fault. It's not Rebecca's fault. It's just, you know, I'm finding when you're, when you are, that's one thing you have to figure out, you know, what vendors work for you, how long do scents last. I also struggle with Rose Girls Bakery. Rose Girls Bakery, around a year to a year, a year and a half, the bakery just kind of, it, it tapers down. And I'm finding that with some of the older Rose Girls blends that I have. And what I'm working on right now, melting is a lot of rose girls because I want to use what I have up and I don't want to sacrifice the, the, the strength and the throw of it. So, um, and that's like, once again, no fault to the vendor. It's just the way that bakery oils are. And it's the way that the, the recipe for their, their wax, um, their wax formula. So that being said, this is a great blender. This sweetens something up and gives a little touch of smokiness, but this is more sweet than anything. I think most of us out there have smelled marshmallow fireside. It's a great blender. Okay, next. This is fantastic. Fake and bake. I don't really have to tell many people about fake and bake because if you like zucchini bread, you've probably had this if you are a Super Tarts customer. This is zucchini bread, sweet cream, and sugar cookie. 
This is fantastic. This is a sample, of course, but I have a BAM of this, a full BAM that's about half gone, and I have another BAM coming that I ordered from Wax Wednesday. That is a blend I will always order because it is tried and true. It's fabulous. It's the perfect amount of sugar cookie, zucchini bread, and sweet cream. That sweet cream just shines in this guy. It's, it's a good one. Let's talk retail. Better Homes and Gardens Walmart Wax. This is white peppermint and mocha. This is peppermint, coffee, sugar cane, froth milk, whipped cream, and candy cane. On cold, this is so good. It's creamy. It's peppermint. I get no coffee. There's no coffee in this. Also, warmed up, this was a 100% dud. This did not throw for me at all. I had this in my kitchen. I put this upstairs in the bed and bath. I had this in tea light. This just did not work for me. I have two more clams because I bought, I bought three and I thought, man, this is going to be good. I love peppermint coffee. I really do. So maybe, maybe I got a bad clam. I doubt it, but I'm going to try another one of my clams. And if I get the same result, they're going to be moved on out in random acts of kindness because it's just not something that my nose can pick up maybe, or it's just, um, not for me. Does that make sense? I mean, sometimes somebody's like, Oh, you know, I can't, that doesn't throw for me. And then somebody else gets in there like, what are you talking about? It's a great thrower. It's just, this just might be, it is what it is. So, um, but on cold, it's creamy, it's peppermint. I, like I said, maybe they forgot to put the coffee in here because I don't get coffee with this. It's just creamy peppermint. Next, speaking of peppermint, this is Teddy B's Pink Peppermint Vanilla. I have this in a tea light warmer. This is peppermint, vanilla cream, and pink sugar. This one is nice. It's pink sugar dominant pretty much. And then you get that sweetness of the peppermint. But if you like pink sugar, this one's up your alley because it is pretty much pink sugar dominant. Next, I love this one. This is Holiday by K. Actually, it's by Nest, but K has the oil for that, as, as does Dessa. It was on her list yesterday. And so does Sassy Girl Aroma has Nest Holiday. This is orange, vanilla, and a touch of clove. And there's a lot of other stuff in there too, but just, you know, for space purposes, <laughs> she put the biggest ones on here. This is right up there with my favorite, my favorite holiday scent from a large, you know, corporate company is Perfect Christmas from Bath and Body Works. Nest is a fragrance company and I love this. This is right up there next to Perfect Christmas. I might even like this a little bit more because it does add the orange. It does add the clove to it where that's lacking in the, in the Perfect Christmas. It's just pine, marshmallow, and cinnamon sugar. This I love. I would buy this in a larger size. I would, I have another, like I said, I have the other vendors that offer this. It's good. It is, it's kind of a cousin to Tis the Season. It has, actually, it's like Tis the Season and Winter from Bath and Body Works had a baby. That's how it's, it smells like to me. It's like a little bit of each of those. Okay, next is, this is um, Vintage Chic. This is Helene's, Jean, excuse me, Helene's Gingerbread House Day. This is Buttery Gingerbread, Gingerbread Marshmallow, and Bakery. Now, gingerbread, we talked about that earlier in this video. This is more of a bakery, not ginger, spicy, heavy gingerbread. If you like bakery that is not spicy bakery and you like gingerbread, give this a try if Kirby pours this again this year before she closes. This is one you would like if you don't like that kick in the face spicy that gingerbread can have and, and that ginger has. Uh, this, I liked this a lot. I like a spicy gingerbread. So this one is, I got this as a sample, of course. I wouldn't buy this myself because it's not powerful enough for me. If, I, if I'm melting gingerbread, I want to know it's gingerbread. But I do also understand there's a lot of you out there that don't like spicy bakery. This one would be one you would probably like. So we'll leave it at that. Another one of Kirby's is Central Park Snow Globe. This is Peppermint Cream Noel. This was just offered in her Blossom Bar pre-order. I know this is a popular one. It is good. I have the pink sugar 
um, the pink sugar version too. This is peppermint cream Noel, like I said. It's creamy peppermint. That's basically all there is to it, and it's fantastic. It's a great blender. It's great on its own. It's great at bedtime. It's it's great. <laughs> Longer video today, guys, of course. North Pole Breakfast L3. I like this one. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, and cider. Now, I will say the this is apple cider heavy. And I on cold, I, I'm smelling. I don't have any more of this. This is my this was a chunk, and this is the only quantity I, I had. It's all gone now, of course. I get the cider. And I get a little bit of the syrup. This this kind of reminds me of Buddy the Elf and Elf, you know, when he's making breakfast with the spaghetti and the M&Ms and the maple syrup, which is so disgusting. This kind of reminds me of just a bunch of sugar, but I'm able to, my nose is able to pick up on that apple cider. So it does bring it down to earth a little bit and it's not just straight sugar, you know, believe it or not. Um, this is good. I do like that one. I hope that description made sense. Sometimes I bat out of, bat out of left field with some of these descriptions, but gingerbread, we talked about this a lot. This is a spicy gingerbread. It's good. It's rich. It's heavy. It's dense. It's everything gingerbread should be. Um, if she pours these again in trigs, you know, anytime you guys want to blend, request it because you know jen and trish read those and they do their damnedest to try to give everybody something at some all the time you know they're they're very very good excellent customer service they want to pour what we want because ultimately we're going to buy it so this is good if you if you want more gingerbread just request it next this is a uh, walmart wax this at christmas time uh or when was it black friday I can't remember. I had surgery right after Thanksgiving. So kind of when stuff was on sale and things, I couldn't participate a lot this year because I couldn't drive for a period of time. So my freedom <laughs> was in my house. Uh, but these were a dollar. They had a special, these black label. I have more. I don't need more, but I have more. Frosted cinnamon cookie. This smells like a cinnamon raisin cookie, which a cinnamon raisin oatmeal cookie, I should say. I love oatmeal raisin cookies. I know. I know they get the bad. They're not chocolate chip. Oh, I thought it was chocolate chip. It's so good. My favorite oatmeal cookie comes from 7-Eleven gas station, honestly. I don't know if it, I don't know how, I don't, I've never worked in a gas station. So the food that's in the gas station, the baked goods and such, I don't know if it's made if they're corporate and it's shipped out to all of the locations throughout the country, or if it's something that's, that's just for that location, but their, their dough is buttery. It's got that perfect amount of cinnamon in it. It has creaminess to it. It's rich. It's such a satisfying oatmeal raisin cookie. This smells just like that. And Oh, it's so good. I love this. If I don't know if this is still anywhere out in Walmart. If you guys have this in your collection, give it a give it a give it a shot and melt it. It's it's strong. It performs well. It makes me I I hate the expression lick the air. I don't like that. It's it's just, you know, it's kind of like moist is with some people. <laughs> makes me uncomfortable so but this is something if i if i did use that phrase i would use it with this because this is this is perfect would i pay two dollars for this like the price it usually is absolutely this is a great bakery one next we have glitterati christmas woods this is basically I didn't look up the I didn't look up the notes for this because you know glitterati's hard we can't buy glitterati when we want to we have to you know get a mystery box now or a Sunday sign up you know Janine has her website going I haven't even attempted uh, to get one because frankly I don't need any more wax and I'm not going to try to get glitterati until maybe later in the fall her wax is very soft so especially in the spring and when the weather starts to warm up, I just don't want to um, sacrifice something getting melted in the mail. So I'll try in the fall. Anyways, this is a good pine. And I said, I don't know all the other notes in it. So we'll just leave it at it's a good pine. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, L3, Cranberry Woods Vanilla Balsam. Vanilla Balsam is such a good one. It's creamy, sweetened up pine. It's basically all it is. And then you have Cranberry Woods, which is, I love cranberry. It's a little bit of a sexier version of cranberry. It has an addition of just a touch, just a touch of masculinity to it. But it's not a cologne. It's not like a freshly showered man. It's not anything like that. It's not clean. It's just a bumped up version of cranberry. This is fantastic. I love this. I would melt this again. I would buy this again. Cranberry is... I love cranberry stuff. Next, oh, this is this is up there. It was one of my loves right now. This is almost as strong as pink frosted cake. I love the hell out of pink frosted cake. I know it's spreading around <laughs> L3's page, and I love pink frosted cake because I do. I do. It's such a good bakery scent. It's such a good blender. It's so strong. It's it's great. I'm not a vanilla bakery person it's always i've never liked vanilla bakery i've always struggled with it i not a vanilla person i it's kind of boring to me honestly i like it blended with things but if i'm gonna pick just a scent to melt i sure as hell don't want it to be vanilla i want it to be something different so pink frosted cake is yellow cake and strawberry frosting and it's fan friggin tastic i love it and that's all I'll talk about pink frosted cake because there isn't any of it in this batch. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, pink sugar, pie crust, warm vanilla sugar. This was a chunk that I bought. And this had a moment too last spring. People couldn't get enough of pink sugar pie crust. And the warm vanilla sugar, like I said, is a great addition. It the, the pie crust and the warm vanilla sugar takes the perfume quality out of the pink sugar. Pink sugar is a very sweet, pretty perfume. And you mix it with the bakery and the warmth of the warm vanilla sugar. This is so good. This is being offered, this scent right now, in L3's Bath & Body pre-order in Hair Detangler. So this is a good scent. I love this. This was also offered in perfume at her last ready-to-ship. And I don't know if there's... There isn't any on the site right now because it's it's just pre-order stuff. But if it wasn't sold out and you like this perfume or you like this scent and you want it in a perfume, it was it was offered. So this is such a good scent. It's long lasting. It is that little bit of, mmm, is that a cookie? Is that a cake? Is it, it's a feminine scent, but it's good. This is a, this is a unicorn in that aspect that you're not quite sure is it real? Isn't it real? What is it kind of a thing? Uh, this is fantastic. Love it. Diet starts Monday. Ain't that the truth? This, <laughs> this is cotton candy frosting, sugar cookie royale, Santa's on keto, and sugared shortbread. And I don't remember what's in Santa's on keto, but I should have went one more step and wrote down the notes. That's my chicken scratch today. I usually, if I'm, if I'm, Trying to write nice, I can write pretty beautifully. But I've seen some of you guys' handwriting, and you guys have beautiful handwriting. If you put your handwriting in pictures on Facebook, they're all beautiful. Um, I should have, like I said, I should have wrote down what's in Saturn's on Keto, but next time. This is basically, I really get the cotton candy frosting in this, and I get the bakery from the sugared shortbread. This is a great blender. Would I melt this on its own and buy this on its own just to melt on its own? No. This is a blender to me and only a blender to me. Just because it's it doesn't have that complexity that I guess I've gotten accustomed to and that I crave when I'm melting wax. So if you're looking for a new blender that has a little bit of cotton candy in it, give this a try. You could easily use that with fruity stuff, with bakery stuff. You could even put peppermint with that. I mean, it's it's endless, really, what you could what you could try with. This is Vintage Chic, the Grinch. This is cranberry mulberry. Let's try again. Cranberry mulberry orange moscato. This I love this. This was a poinsettia. Her poinsettia. I cut it into eight pieces. Um, I got this in, I took a break from Vintage Chic for most of 2022. And then when Kirby announced her retirement, I'm back in the group and I'm like three or four orders in. So <laughs> no bueno, but I'm there. I got this in a mystery box. Uh, one of the last orders I made, this was poor November 19th, 21. 
actually, it might have been, now that I think about it, I found Vintage Chic. I was introduced to Vintage Chic, um, rather, around Halloween of 2021. So this was, I bought a mystery box right out of the, right out of the gate, and I think this was in it. Anyways, this, it doesn't smell like wine, per se, the Moscato component, but you can tell it's a drink if that makes sense. It's a punch. It's a drink of something. The cranberry, the mulberry, and the orange. This was strong. It threw well. I have this guy going just in my kitchen downstairs. It's, it just, it, I think I melted this when my mom was down for the holidays and we were drinking some wine and laughing and dancing around having dance parties. I was dancing in my boot. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. <laughs> Uh, one thing I haven't been able to do before I had my surgery was I can't, I can't dance. When I clean my house, I have my music on, I dance around. It's just a different way to get exercise, really. I hate exercising, but I know it's something that we need to do. And I clean when I dance around. I, you know, when I clean my shower, I, you know, that's more than you want to know about me, but it's just something fun. You got to make it fun. I used to do jazzercise back in the day, and jazzercise is not your grandma's jazzercise. It's much, much better now. And since my foot has just been declining the last few years, I had to give a lot of that stuff up. I've done Zumba. I've done a ton of different high, act, high impact, but I had knee surgery four years ago. Almost, actually, it's almost five years ago. Had knee surgery and now foot surgery. So the high impact days might be behind me, but I can, I can dance. So we have this on and that's a good memory to have. Um, this was, this is great. If you like fruity and bubbly, I wouldn't call this effervescent or fizzy, but it could easily be mixed with one of those. If you have fizzy, something fizzy that you can mix with this, it would work beautifully because it just is like that. You could even mix this with ginger ale. You could even put a little bit of cola in here, although it might get a little, um, I'm thinking of the two of L3's Cola and L3's Ginger Ale. I would probably put Ginger Ale with this because it, it complements the cranberry, the berries a little bit easier than maybe the Cola does. But I mean, I would, I would try it. I have melted things and blended things together that are absolute dog crap and I just throw it away. <laughs> but how do you know until you try? So that's the Grinch. Wasn't Grinchy to me. It was a good one. Okay, hap, hap, happiest Christmas. This is from Christmas Vacation. When I did my my haul order for this, I did not remember what, what movie this was from, but I have since remembered. This is maple walnut fudge, chestnuts and brown sugar. Love chestnuts and brown sugar. And frothy holiday beverages, which I don't know what that is, but it's, this is good. Maple walnut fudge. Uh, that's chocolate, Ashley. Yes, I know it's chocolate, but I wanted to give this a try because it has chestnuts in it. I love chestnuts. It's, it's such a, it's such a good addition to any blend to add a little bit of something special to it. Would I buy more of this? Yes. This was a gingerbread house. I would buy more of this. It is, you get the walnut, you get the chestnut. I'm not sure what the frothy holiday beverages are, but... I could smell something drink-like in here, if that makes sense. This is a good one. Bravo. Snug in their beds. This was from the Christmas sampler in 2021. Vanilla lace, snuggle type, and Fraser fur. I like this one. I love snuggle. Snuggle is my favorite. If I have to pick a name brand oil, I like snuggle. And I, 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 I like... I like Gain too, but Gain, I hate Tide. I don't like Tide oil. I've had Tide before. It doesn't smell anything like Tide to me. And I honestly, I haven't seen it used very often in vendors, but I'm also, I'm not looking for it. So I'm just, I'm not a Tide fan. Do I like to wash my clothes in Tide? Yes. I don't like Tide and wax. I like Gain and Island Fresh Gain is great too. But if I had to really pick a name brand oil, in laundry, it would be snuggle. Even though I know it's not the detergent, I know it's the softener, but you get what I'm saying. The snuggle is fantastic. It's strong. It kind of overpowers the vanilla lace because it's, it's, you know, it's vanilla. I know there's a little bit of amber and a little bit of something else in the vanilla lace. I haven't smelled it in a long time from Victoria's Secrets. I don't even know if they really make it anymore. It might be 
with the line from the 90s, the strawberries and champagne and the and the pear glace, I think it's how you say it. That line that a lot of us grew up with and the love spell, all of that stuff from the 90s that that we, I used to, I don't remember what vanilla lace smells like, honestly, but it's around, it's being, it's still used, it's popular. The Fraser fur kind of gets lost too, but I like that it's there because it's not just me melting something that's that's snuggle, although I wouldn't complain. Okay, Santa's Workshop. This is Sassy Girl. We're at 50 minutes. Peppermint, vanilla, and cinnamon. This is just a quintessential holiday scent. This was a this was a mini melter, not a mini melter, wrong vendor. Uh, this was a mini muffin, mini muffin, and he was a year old this month, so I used him up. Um, I bought some of the Sassy Girl blends at the end of the season in 2021 um, with the intention of using them this past year, and I did. So I, um, this is a great combination of the three of these, the peppermint, the vanilla, and the cinnamon. I would buy this again. I really haven't been watching her pre-orders to know if this was offered, but if it's offered again, I would probably buy it later on down the year, in the year, because I do like this. It's a nice scent that is you know it's kind of like holiday and it's kind of like fresh balsam it's it's a scent that a lot of people just have in their home at the holiday time it's it's just memory memory invoking in my opinion okay stocking stuffers super tarts this is a fun one marshmallow santas you know those russell stover marshmallow santas they used to be they used to be, what, 25 cents a piece, and now they're a dollar a piece? I don't remember. <laughs> chocolate oranges, which I love. I'm the only one in my house that eats chocolate oranges. My husband doesn't like orange and chocolate. My mother doesn't either. So I get them all, I guess. My husband knows I like them, so he bought me several in my stocking, and he bought my, wa my mom one, too, for her stocking, and she gave it to me because she knows how much I, I love them. Um... Marshmallow Santa, chocolate oranges, ribbon candy. Hello, blast from the past. I love ribbon candy and lifesavers. This is basically orange, fruity, and chocolate together. This is, I can't put this one into words. First of all, I just had a little small, the, the little baby clamshell that's in here of her samples, super tarts. But I also... It's hard to describe because there's so much going on in here. It's fruity mixed with chocolate. And it's basically all of these yummy things that we eat at Christmas time in wax. We'll leave it at that. Christmas at the cabin. We talked about that already. That was a, just a little sample in the earlier part of the video. Fraser fir cinnamon sticks toasted marshmallow. L3. This is a good one. I think where... What Jen and Trish were trying to do with this is kind of make a perfect Christmas with uh, from Bath and Body Works, but that's hard to that's hard to really dupe. It's hard to dupe. There is uh, Sassy Girl Aroma does have a spot on fantastic dupe for the perfect Christmas. Um, I have multiple forms of it. I have a loaf. I have brittles. I I have enough of it. Um, it's a, I melt the perfect Christmas all any time of the year. It's, it's, I don't have that in my head as just a Christmas scent. Is it great at Christmas? Yes, but it's such a quality, wonderful, nostalgic fragrance for me that I use it all year round. This does have spicy, it's spicy cinnamon, a little bit of spicy cinnamon to it, and the Fraser fur. I like this. I, I think I like I think I like this blended a little bit better with wood smoke. Like it's kind of similar to Christmas at the Cabin. Christmas at the Cabin has the pine and the cinnamon and the wood smoke. This is missing the wood smoke. And I think I miss it when I melt this versus Christmas at the Cabin. I just, my nose prefers having that little bit of, that little bit of woodsiness to it in here. This is kind of just cinnamony to me. We'll leave it at that. Okay, and a couple more standouts from the L3 calendar, and then we'll move on into wallflowers. Okay, swanky Christmas soiree peppermint. Little sample here. Christmas soiree is winter Bath and Body Works and Vanilla B. Noel mixed with peppermint. 
it's nice. I would never have thought to put winter in Vanilla Bean Noel with peppermint. Maybe winter in peppermint, yes, but winter, I don't have a lot of winter dupes in my collection. Um, Destination Wax has a great one though, and that baby does not lose potency, so you're safe with that one. Um, it's orange and pine, and there's a couple of other notes in winter. Winter has been around forever. It's one of those quintessential Bath and Body Works scents. You're either team winter or team fresh balsam, or you put them together kind of a thing. I know, and, and then there's Tis the Season too. I love Tis the Season. Uh, but winter, but, uh, but winter is good too. And mixing it, like I said, mixing it with peppermint is genius because it takes that, it's kind of sharp to your nose winter. It's really got that outdoorsy quality to it, but the peppermint tones it down. It makes it a little bit more, it's smoother and it's comforting. This is a great one. It's a great one. Peppermint Spearmint. I don't have to really talk about this very much because it's just the two of these together. It's a minty, refreshing, relaxing blend. Plain Peppermint, same concept. I love the Trig Tarts because it gives me the, the flexibility to, to blend and to really just break off a piece or if I want to, you know, change the ratios of what I'm trying to, to create. I love the Trig Tarts. In the pre-order right now, there's Trig Tarts offered, which I haven't seen since I started in Vendor Wax. So take advantage of those. They're fantastic blends this time. Not blends, drigs or single oils, but you know what I mean. They're fantastic ones offered this time. Okay, this was a standout from her calendar, L3's calendar. This is Circus Concessions, Caramel Popcorn, and Caramel Apple. I'm a sucker for Caramel Apple. I'm a sucker for Cider Lane. I love Circus Concessions. I like those carnival scents. This really fit the bill because the addition of that extra the caramel popcorn and the caramel apple and the caramel from the citrus um, citrus the circus concession really bravo on this blend it was so good i melted this downstairs the piece was a little bigger so i could break it in half easily and have a nice generous piece for each of my warmers in the kitchen so i did that this was day nine i wrote a little nine on here day nine of the calendar this was fantastic i would buy this again absolutely okay twisted peppermint vanilla butter fudge rice krispies and why i wanted to give this one a moment is i don't know how they put rice krispies into this without it getting overpowered by the creaminess of the vanilla butter fudge and the sweet perfection of twisted peppermint. I don't know how I could smell a damn Rice Krispie treat when I melted this. I thought, oh, it's just gonna be twisted peppermint and vanilla butter fudge. I'm not gonna get that Rice Krispie, but I did. It was there. This is one I would definitely, Definitely buy this again because it's it's kind of refreshing to smell a Rice Krispie treat. You know, they're fun. They're yummy. They're delicious. My sister-in-law makes them every Christmas. And she made the wreath this year with, uh, I think it's cornflakes. You know, the, 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 red and, the red and green wreath, the cereal wreath. She made that this year. Honestly, it was my first time having that wreath in my life. I've seen it several places throughout my life parties and such never tried it was my first time and it's better than a rice crispy treat but she's known for making her cereal treats so hi christy uh <laughs> um this is good this is really good jovi this is hayden Rowe. this was a ready bit sampler um her christmas i think this was christmas in july now that i think about it this is lime citrus berry vanilla and fizzy pop this is basically just like fruity, fruity pop, fruity soda. And I don't really, I melted this early on in December. I don't remember really what stood out to me in it, but I'm, but I'm, I just know it was a nice effervescent, fruity effervescent. So I'm not buying a lot from Hayden Rowe because I, I have a lot of fresh that I've purchased from her that I want to use up before I replenish what I, what I, what I've used, but Jovi is one I would buy again, because it's just a nice, if you're, if you're a fan of fizzy stuff, I know not everybody is, that's a nice fruity fizzy. Brown sugar fig, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla wafers. Now I had the other blend that was marsh, uh, that was brown sugar and fig, 
uh, and why this one is a little bit different because it does have that vanilla wafer in there, which does give it a little bit more of a bakery quality. So you have the brown sugar and fig, which is this, this delicious on its own. And you add that little bit of creaminess from the marshmallow and that little bit of bakery creamy from the vanilla wafers. You have yourself a winner there. And finally, this is probably my favorite scent from the whole L3 calendar. Snickerdoodle, Snickers coffee, and whipped cream. Snickers coffee is so stinking good. It is so good. And I, you know, I've skipped over Snickers latte, Snickers coffee several times. And I'm wondering why, why did I not build up my collection of Snickers coffee? Because sometimes you want a little bit of peanut. You want a little bit of chocolate mixed with your coffee. I like chocolate mixed with coffee. I've talked about this before. You know, chocolate accents, coffee, coffee accents, chocolate. That's why peppermint mocha works so well because the qualities that we taste of chocolate and, and espresso and coffee are kind of the same. So whenever I make anything chocolate, I always put espresso powder in it because it just, it just makes it so much better. And your big baby bakeries do the same thing. If you watch enough Food Network, you figure this stuff out too. But I love this. I love this. I would ask for this again. It's fantastic. You get a little bit of cinnamon from the snickerdoodle, but not too much. Just sweet cinnamon sugar. There's a sweet cinnamon sugar sampler right now being offered too, I'm pretty sure. And this is Snickers, like the candy bar, and coffee. It's so good. Okay, that's all the wax I have. I want to quickly do wallflowers. These, I just, I want to talk about these because I have said in the past, I'm done with wallflowers. And yes, I am, but I will continue to buy select scents that I know work well for me. So what I'm basically going to do is just tell you, because I have a little bit here, tell you the scent notes and if I would buy it again and if it sucked or it didn't suck. So, um, fa la la latte. A shot of espresso, warm vanilla foam, topped with warm cookie crumbles. Zero out of a ten. Could not smell this at all. I was telling a friend about this because I know she bought a candle of it. And I said, hey, I put my fa la la latte wallflower in and I can't smell it at all. It's, it's, it's scentless. It's, it's terrible. And um, she went on to light her candle, said it's kind of, they, they dropped the ball on it. I said, yes, they did. This is not Paris Cafe. Zero, I would not buy again. Absolutely, they should quit making that, in my opinion. Pumpkin pecan waffles. We don't have to talk about this one. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice. I will always buy this. That's one I'll make an exception for. I will always buy sugared snickerdoodle. This is warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. We'll always buy that. That is so good. It's the perfect amount of cookie and butter and a little bit of spices. It's fantastic. The candle is, the candle is great too. Walk in the woods. Oh my God. This is fantastic. This is a new scent. This is forest cedar wood, crisp patchouli, and dark peppercorns. I put this in the kitchen downstairs and I could smell this the whole entire, the whole entire oil until it was down at the end. I could smell this every single day and I tried like hell to find more and I couldn't. So if this comes back, you know, it's, it's a good one. Bath and Body Works probably won't bring it back. You know, <laughs> Murphy's Law. This is so good. It just perfect. Perfect. I have, tr I tried to create this in a custom, but I couldn't get the peppercorn oil. So I wanted to play around with it. This is, this is a 10 out of a 10 I would buy. Sweater weather. This has been around for years. Fresh sage, juniper berries, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Yes, tried and true. I only like the home fragrance in sweater weather. The body smells like wet dog to me. So go figure. Sweater weather is not going anywhere either. Harvest gathering. This is fresh picked apple, autumn berries, clove buds. It's okay. I like the soap better. I probably would buy a spiced apple toddy before I did this one just because it's a little stronger in the apple department. I, that was probably a six out of a 10. Cuddle weather. This another one that sucked. This, this was, this fell flat right on its head. <laughs> Gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, 
and cozy blanket. It sounds great. Like, oh, this is going to be comforting and warm and yummy. Nope. Zero out of a ten. Stop selling that one because it doesn't have a scent. Bath and Body Works. Wicked Apple. This was Cider Lane. Uh, this is 2021 when I bought this. This is Ghostly Green Apple, Creepy Caramel Drizzle, and Viscous. Not Viscous. <laughs> vicious. Vicious Vanilla Bean. Um, I know a lot of people when, when Wicked Apple, Cider Lane didn't come back in 2021, but they did release this in the Halloween line. And a lot of people thought this smelled like celery. Thank God I didn't get celery out of this because I really would have been upset. I have, I have a candle of this too and a soap. Um, and of course C Cider Lane came out this past, um, fall season, 2022. I liked this. It's good. Pumpkin clove. I love this. This is a fantastic one. Clove buds, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, and fresh pumpkin. This is if you don't like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which has a little, a little too much cinnamon for a lot of people, but it's been around forever too. I like pumpkin clove. This is a Walmart one. Better Homes and Gardens, sliced apple and cinnamon. I have this down in my husband's in the, the bathroom downstairs where he primarily, primarily uses, um, this is just, you know, it's it's cinnamon and apple. Everybody has smelled that. I would buy it again, but, you know, Better Homes and Gardens, they do have some good oils. They do have some good ones. Um, Mary Cookie. I have the soap right now at my sink in the kitchen. This is Fresh Baked Cookies, Sparkling Sugar Crystals, and Vanilla, Rich Vanilla. This is kind of weak because it's, you know, so it's so vanilla heavy. It's kind of weak, but it's nostalgic. It's been around for a long time. I would maybe buy this again, but I'm okay if I don't buy it again. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I had two of those. Blueberry pie, 15 out of a 10. This is fantastic. Juicy blueberries, flaky crust, sugar, cr excuse me, sugar crystals fantastic. I have the candles. I have a few candles over here that I got at the semi-annual sale this past summer. Um, fantastic. When it comes back, give it a try. If you like blueberry and you like pie, it's fantastic. Pumpkin snickerdoodle. My first experience with this one. Warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg sprinkled with sugar. Um, this tried to be like sugared snickerdoodle, but it Kind of isn't. It's not up there. It's kind of weak in my opinion. So this is a probably a three out of a 10, not repurchase. Sweet whiskey. I love this one. I have this actually right here. There's a plug right here. I have in here. Um, I don't remember what I have in here right now. It's in my, it's in my batch over there for next time. Sweet whiskey, golden amber. I love amber. I love amber. Vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries. This is so good. It's it's not bakery, of course, and it's not earthy. It's just, you got to smell it. I love this. Love that. And finally, my new favorite fall fragrance, Pumpkin Bonfire. I love this one. It's white pumpkin, clove buds, and glowing embers. White pumpkin is such a good scent. There's a couple vendors that have it in, in, in oil, but white pumpkin, I always get white pumpkin something every year. They have it in soap now too. Uh, this gives a little bit of that, a little smokiness to it from the embers, but ultimately it's white pumpkin. So that's my December, 2022 empties with some wallflower video. So stay tuned for January, uh, half of January, the first couple of weeks. Um, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. I uh, feel the love. So have a good weekend and I'll see you soon.